Hi, I'm Janet Metza, and I'm running to be state representative for the 110th district. The mines of the UP are important to the history of the American labor movement. Over a century ago, thousands of workers from all over Europe came here to make better lives. Many started by working in the iron or copper mines of the UP. The copper miners worked underground in tough conditions, 10 to 12 hours, six days a week. They were paid about $2 a day, raises were rare, and jobs were at will. There was no medical coverage for work-related injuries, and over 60 miners died each year with no life insurance. The copper mining companies resisted unions for years until the WFM organized the miners, signing up thousands of members. In 1913, the miners asked for a raise, a shorter workday, and safer working conditions. The managers refused, leading to a strike. The strikers soon shut down most of the mines, but the governor sent in the National Guard and the owners hired strike breakers, leading to violence. On Christmas Eve 1913, the families of strikers had a Christmas party in the second floor ballroom of the Italian Hall. Someone shouted, fire, and in the panic, hundreds rushed for the stairs. The exit door opened inward, and in the frightening crush, 73 people died, including 64 children. The funerals that followed broke the spirit of the strikers, and the strike ended after nine months. But the strike was a major turning point. It showed that big mines could be shut down by the collective action of workers, and it changed the way the mines operated forever. Much has changed, but the UP still has many workers struggling to make a living wage, seeking improved work schedules and job security, and asking for safer workplace. The COVID crisis has made it worse, and collective bargaining is more relevant than ever. Our nurses and other healthcare workers are heroes. They have demanding jobs and work long hours, and the COVID crisis has added new demands, like trying to maintain a safe environment for patients and fellow workers. Frontline nurses have 12 times higher risk for COVID-19. They deserve not just our thanks, but the support they ask for. Medical workers in long-term care facilities are caring for their elderly and vulnerable patients under almost impossible circumstances. They are among the lowest paid healthcare workers, but have one of the toughest frontline jobs. Finding ways to protect and reward these unsung heroes should be a priority. Teachers are asked to educate our children while keeping both themselves and students safe. Working parents want their kids in school to get back to their own jobs. A third of local students have chosen to learn remotely this fall and local schools without the resources must hire extra staff for e-learning or outsource to other districts or charter schools. This takes funds from our local public schools they can't afford to lose. I support the MEA in protecting our teachers and will seek all federal and state funds to keep our schools strong. I want to salute all the frontline workers across the UP. The hardworking folks of the UP are strong and we'll make it through this crisis even stronger. Thank you. This Labor Day is a good time to remember the legacy of the workers who came before us. And moving forward, I want to support all working people as we make our communities here in the UP a better place to live.